Welcome back everyone. Now Nvidia is planning to launch its next generation of its GPUs in September and one of our sources just gave us an overview of the Ampere Gaming graphics card lineup. Now interestingly they had mentioned that Nvidia has not confirmed the naming schemes of the cards yet but has started to reveal details about the SKUs, the boards, and the tentative launch schedule. But for the time being we're referring to them as the RTX 3000 series until that information either is confirmed or is changed. Oh, and remember the rumors that we we're hearing about the 20 gig cards in the Ampere lineup? Turns out they're most likely correct. Now, according to our sources, Nvidia is planning to launch three boards in September with one board following in October and two boards planned whose launch date has not yet been decided. Now, since we do not know the confirmed naming schemes yet, we'll refer to these boards according to their board numbers and the RTX 2000 series cards that they intended to replace. So first off, we have the crown jewel of Nvidia's lineup. It's the PG132-10 board with 24 gigabytes of VRAM. Now it's going to replace the RTX 2080 Ti and is currently scheduled for launch on the second half of September. Now we have the PG132-20 and the PG132-300 boards, both of which are replacing the RTX 2080 Super graphics cards and will have 20 gigs and 10 gigs worth of VRAM respectively. The PG132-20 board is going to be launched in the first half of October, while the PG132-300 board is going to be launched in mid-September. It is worth adding here that these three parts are likely SKU 10, 20, and 30 that we've been hearing about. The SKU 20 is going to be targeted at the dead center of AMD's Big Navi offering and hence the staggered launch schedule since AMD's Big Navi will probably have 16 gigs worth of VRAM. It also explains why Nvidia wants to go with 20 gigabytes. Third, the PG142-0 and the PG142-10 are both going to replace the RTX 20. 70 Super and will feature 16 gigabytes and 8 gigabytes worth of VRAM respectively. While the PG142-10 has a known launch schedule in the second half of September, the PG142-0 board has no confirmed launch date. Finally, we have the PG190-10 board which is going to replace the RTX 2060 Super graphics card and will have 8 gigabytes of VRAM as well. The launch schedule for this board has not been decided yet either. And September is shaping up to be one amazing month for tech enthusiasts at the Nvidia rolling out a brand new architecture and a series of graphics cards and AMD finally pushing out Big Navi in the following few weeks as well. Now the Ampere series has had more leaks and rumors than any other series as we enter into crunch time towards launch. Many of these will be debunked while others are confirmed. And we're also waiting to hear about more specifications from our sources and also a confirmation of the process node on the Ampere architecture GPUs that it will be manufactured at. Right now, the nomenclature of these cards is going to be the RTX 3000 series with a potential RTX 3090 in the mix for the first time as well since the departure of dual GPU cards. But please keep in mind that Nvidia has previously skipped nomenclature tiers just to discredit the leak scene and may do so again. Now the shrouds we saw were only in the validation phase and it would be trivial for Nvidia to change the naming scheme, but the board numbers, however, would definitely most likely at least stay the same. Now regardless of what Nvidia decides to call it, it's shaping up to be one heck of a generation. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.